In this tutorial we're going to be looking at performing basic calculations in Scratch. As you can see I already have the operators menu open and in that menu I have some operations, some basic arithmetic, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And that's what I'm going to focus on for now. There are some other mathematical or at least um, they involve operations similar to calculations. So there are things like random numbers, which I cover in another tutorial. Uh, there are, there's the modulo operator, which is a fairly sophisticated operator that's very useful in computer science. Uh, there's the idea of rounding, and there are also these more complicated operators. Uh, it's, right now it shows it as the square root, but it also allows you to do trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, uh, logarithms, exponentials, absolute value. So if you're familiar with those operations, certainly the square root should be familiar enough. You can do things with those as well. But let's focus on simple arithmetic. If you can get these skills down, if you can become comfortable with using these, then you can experiment with making use of some of the other ones as well. In order to do this, well, if you take a look at any one of these, you can see that add, subtract, multiply, and divide take two things and perform the operation on them. So in order to do that, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of variables for this. So I'm going to call um, one of my variables, I'm just going to call it num1, and I'm going to create another variable called num2, and then I'm performing various operations here and so I'm actually going to create variables for each of those operations. You wouldn't necessarily have to do this. Uh, we've ta I've talked about variables in another tutorial. Generally you want to have a variable where you want to keep that information. So let's assume that we actually want to keep the information for the sum, the difference, the product, and the quotient of these operations. So let's go ahead and we'll start off with sum. So sum is for adding two numbers. So let's let's focus on the actual operation itself. So I'm going to focus on the addition. I'm going to focus on sum. So how do I do that? Well, when I add the numbers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add number one and I'm going to add number two together. So you can see that's why there's room for that. These two things together are going to produce an answer and that answer has to be saved somewhere and that's why we need a third variable and so when we want to save things we use the set command now I don't want to set num1 I'm going to want to set the sum and so the variable sum is going to get whatever value is in this box now we don't want the value 0 there we want the sum of num1 and num2 so there is your basic calculation. Set sum to num1 plus num2. And I could repeat this if I wanted to. I could say set difference to num1 minus num2 using the subtraction operator. I could do a product or I could do a quotient. Now in order to make this a little bit more meaningful and a little bit more practical, I'm going to need to get this information. Now where can I get these values? I could get these values and this is valid sometimes you have a program where you assign these values as part of your program so you might set num1 to 5 and num2 to let's say 2 so actually I'm going to show I'm going to do this separately rather than running it as a single program I want you to see them happening one at a time so if I set num1 to 5 and double click on that you can see that up here the variable num1 now has the value 5. If I set num2 to 2, oh sorry I've made a mistake there, set num1 to 5 I actually have to use this menu to change this to be num2. So the first one is going to set num1 to 5, the second one is going to set num2 to 2, and then the third one is going to set sum to the sum of those two variables. So set num1 to 5, this is changed to 5 set num2 to 2 and this has changed to 2 and now I set the sum equal to 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 so that's one way you could do it 
and we could run this as a single program by putting those things together and then it would all happen at once and to show you it happening let's change this to a three let's change this one to a one so the numbers are different and when I run this whole thing when the flag is clicked then you can see that num1 is set to 3, num2 is set to 1, and the sum is set to 4. Now you might have a, a more complicated program where the values for num1 and num2 are assigned within the program. Another way, especially for something like this, we're doing some basic arithmetic, maybe we want to ask the user some questions. And so what we're going to do is actually ask the user. So let's bring in an ask and we're going to say what is the first number? And then we're going to get our answer and we're going to save that in num1. So we ask the user the first number and we save that number. Then we're going to ask the user the second number. What is the second number? And we're going to set num2 to be that answer. Now, if you're not sure about these answers, the fact that I'm using the same variable in two locations, you might want to go back and take a look at my tutorial on input and output. I actually talk about this answer variable in the tutorial on, on uh, internal variables in Scratch as well. So I talk about it in a number of locations. I'm not going to go over that again, at least not right here. So I've asked what the first number is. I've set num1 to that. I've asked what the second number is, I've set num2 to that. Now I'm going to perform the actual mathematical operation and then I'm going to say something. I'm going to actually say what the answer is. Now I could do this very crudely and I could just say hello and then that would give me the sum. It would be a little bit more elegant which is I'm going to join together. Uh, I'm going to put in here the sum is and then I'm going to put sum in the second block again if you want to take a look at the tutorial on input and output I explain this join command and how it can be used for uh, input and out well in particular in output so now I'm going to run this and it's going to ask me what the first number is and again I'm going to make sure I use something different so I'm going to say 13 and you can see up here the variable 13 or sorry the variable num1 is 13 what is the second number? I'm going to say 7. And 13 plus 7 has a sum of 20. Not only can you see that the sum variable is 20, but I have the sprite outputting that value as 20. So there is some uh, an example of some basic calculations. And as I say, you can do the sum or the difference or the product or the quotient. And there are also some other interesting calculations that you might want to experiment with. That's it for this tutorial. And as I mentioned, you might want to take a look at the other tutorials dealing with variables, input and output to get a more complete overview of, of how all of those things interact with Scratch.